Brandy Moore owns Levels, a clothing store and small recording studio in Minneapolis. She had to close them down during the pandemic. Just after reopening last month, peaceful protests turned violent and the building that housed her businesses was burned down. So this is my store, all of this. We have nothing left. This is it. So for everyone around the world, if you don't know what's going on, this is the result from the riots that's been going on here in Minnesota. And riots turned into the looting, and then the looting turned into the fires. On the day of the actual fire, we had it, the business boarded up to prevent the looters. We took turns rotating shifts, guarding the businesses. They eventually still ended up getting in and looting and setting it on fire. Me and my cousin and business partner, we stood there on the corner and we watched the business go up in smoke and we watched it collapse to the ground. If I was here when that happened, I would have asked, please don't. Please don't. So this place used to be a bakery. A bakery? Yep. Oh my goodness. So what are you gonna do? Open it back up or? Don't know, haven't even got that far yet. It's a bigger fight going on right now, bigger than this store. We want justice and we want our people to be able to be safe. I mean, it's everywhere. I'm 35 years old and my grade, they were all racist. The whole generation of like people are still racist, like, you know, and yeah. as you change and grow. We you know, just gotta do better. We gotta hold ourselves accountable as a people, you know? Right. At the end of the day, I did lose a store, two businesses, but the message is bigger than the businesses. This is a sacrifice, a sacrifice that I was willing to take. George Floyd, he's gone. He'll never be back again. When I watched the video of George Floyd being killed, I couldn't stop crying. Just to see that he was being treated like that, it just hurt my heart. Like this is going on right now in 2020. That happened eight to 10 blocks here from my store. I got another chance. George Floyd is gone. I'm not for my people destroying our community, but we're trying to be heard. So this is our results. These are their voices. This is my voice. These are my people. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.